Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to play with Folk Arts Painted Finishes. And I'm going to use Rust, Light Rust, and Dark Rust. And what this is, it, you can use it on non-porous stuff. Uh, so it adds like a rustic kind of, you know something something to your stuff it can be used indoor or outdoor and it's non-toxic and it can be used like i said on so many different things wood metal plastic you know um i have a lot of things coming up for us mixed media artists to use this i'm very very excited so i thought since you all know i love the creepy dolls and i love creepy stuff I would uh, grab some of my dolls I got from the thrift store and uh, play around for a few. So let's get started. Now, first I want to show you, this is a wooden leg from the hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you go. Uh, you can see it screws in on the bottom, you know, if you make a table or whatever. Um, and I kept the tag on here just to tell you the name because I know a lot of times you guys uh, want to know the exact names. It is a six inch traditional table leg. Uh, and I got this at, had to be Lowe's, and it's number 2406. I don't know if that means anything, but that is what it is. So I'm going to throw that away now. All right, so I have this, and I have a doll I got from the thrift store, which ugh, I don't know if I'm going to destroy her head yet. I might. I don't know, but I love the blue eyeshadow and the and the lips. I don't know. She has one arm. Um you know, so, and she's hollow, so I can use her like this, so I'm debating, I'm debating, I'm debating, you guys know I have to talk through everything uh, to get it straight in my mind, and this other thing, I saved the uh, packaging for you guys, I got this at the craft store, it had to be AC Moore or Michaels, and it is a air freshener doll, I don't have any idea what that means, but it's from Fibercraft, and it gives you directions. Here's the here's what this looks like, right? I just want to show you this. Just in case you guys want to get it. It had to be a couple bucks. That's probably all I would have spent on it. It has crochet instructions. So you can crochet a dress for her. I guess and set her on like toilet paper roll. Or um, I swear uh, back in the day my grandmother had one of these in the bathroom like all crocheted up and sitting on toilet paper or something. Maybe a air freshener, one of those cone air fresheners. Maybe that's what it is because that's what it looks like. And then it comes with directions to make the doll uh, where you can crochet and it gives all the crochet uh, info and weight of the yarn and all that good stuff in Spanish and in, uh, uh, what do you call it? Spanish and American? And, um, that kind of thing. So just so you know, but I'm throwing it away. And this is it. So she has hair. I don't like hair. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave her body because I think I'm either going to get Dave to cut this knobby knob off or because she won't really fit on that like I want her to. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I could maybe slice it and glue her on if I wanted to, but she fits real good on this side, but I cannot sit it stable as you can see. So that's that. But I think the hair, oh, you guys get so upset when I do these things. I'm going to cut all her hair off. And I want to do everything on camera so you guys can see. So if you want a, a less, uh, less instructions of me talking and showing, you can go to my website, knittingandthings.com. I'll put the link down below and I will have uh, basic written instructions on uh, what I did with some pictures, but you can also, for all my peeps out there like me who need videos sometimes, I'm going to do a video. All right. And I'm just cutting the best I can because this is like that crazy hair. Gosh, it's like I cut my dog's hair here. Um, you can see it's like only glued in on certain parts. It's like Mr. Magoo or something. I don't know. I'm just cutting. I'm just cutting, cutting, cutting. You know, I cut. I love destroying baby dolls and then making them into other things. So I thought, why not today? Why not play? All right. And that's it. I'm not going to. 
I'll probably use modeling paste or something to put the rest of that down. No big deal. Okay. That's it for now. Just so we can get started on the fun stuff because I'm all about the fun stuff. I don't mind cutting hair off, but I swear I'll be itchy all day. Is anybody else like that? <laughs> You're just going to be itchy. You just accept it. Even though it's not even real hair, it's plastic. I'll vacuum later. Not going to worry about it. Okay, so now we have this, now we have her, and I have, my scissors away for now, I have one of these uh, brushes that you use to do your hair with, you know, to bleach and color your hair. Not that I color my hair, you know what I'm saying? I just happen to have one. Anyway, you can get these at a dollar store sometimes, you can get them, uh, you know, if you're coloring your hair or you're not going to use it again, that works, or you can use a uh, sponge brush which you can get so inexpensively at the craft store even the dollar store at times and you know our normal our normal brushes okay all right so i'm going to start with this and i'm going to use the uh rust and i'm going to go dark first i'm going to try it i'm going to shake it up because it says to shake it up we're shaking and then shaking it up get all that goodness on the bottom and I'm just gonna uh, honestly I'm coating both of them you don't exactly know where I'm gonna go with these I've not um not thought about it I just kind of want to go with it now when you open it you can see it has a seal on it and you can find these at your local craft store uh you can find them on plaidonline.com I will put the links down below and um have a pair of scissors to open it. Okay. Oh, the nails. That's why I didn't color them. I didn't paint them last night. I knew that I'm going to be dipping in paint. But I love when things are sealed because I tell you the truth. I can't tell you how many things that are not sealed that I bring home that are not good. And that's never good. Okay. So I'm going to have to pour it in something. So I'm going to grab this plate. It's just a plate I had glitter in or something. I'm going to lay it here for now. And I shook it up and I'm just going to pour. Oh, it's like thick. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. All right. So, no, don't eat it. That's just being silly. I'm going to take this sponge brush first and we're going to see which one works better. Let's go over her first. Let's just destroy her. Oh, yeah. This is going to be sitting outside. Now the hair, I'm not real sure about what I'm going to do with, but I'm just going all in because I don't know if this is going to cover the rest of that hair or not. Um, and if not, like I said, I can go in with some modeling paste or clay. Not too worried about it. And all I'm going to do is continue to, whoops, to, uh, cover this with the, uh, painted finish in the dark rust and I'm going to do the wood and then I will be back. Okay, so you can see I have the first coat on and again, this was the dark rust and the painted finishes and um, you can see... You can see the things that are there. Now, I'm not worried about those little things that uh, in the flesh color that's showing because I'm going to go on with the red, uh, the uh, what's it called, light rust. So I'm not too worried about that at the moment. So, and this, that remember, this is the hard plastic, the doll, and this is the wood. Oh, I love it. And again, if there's any light spots, I don't care. Look at that. I have my light really on this because you really, uh, I just love it. Now, let me tell you a few things before we get continue on. You can see I have a mess going on here. Um, and I'm using my uh, plastic, um, oh, what's it called, nonstick mat. Uh, so I highly recommend if you're going to use this to make sure that you use newspaper, you know, your mat, use have old clothes on. Um, because it can be, you can see it's a, it's a little messy and it dries like concrete. It dries hard. Um, and uh, is it a horrible thing? No, but you just want to be prepared. Uh, also, I was using my sponge brush for these, and that did not work at all. 
when I started using my uh, paintbrush, it worked so much better. So definitely use paintbrushes. Now, I know that uh, Plaid also sells paintbrushes that go with this um, to, you know, put stuff on and, and that kind of stuff. So uh, I would recommend, you know, getting them. Uh, or, like I said, use, use an old paintbrush. Um, it works so much better. The sponge just wasn't, the sponge, what it was doing was it was sucking up the liquid. And you can kind of see on my plate, it sucked up the liquid that is in here to spread. And then it uh, only had goop, goopy goop left. Um, and I want both. I want liquid and goopy goop. So I stopped using that, used my brush, and it was fantastic. So very, very happy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake up the light rust. La la la. You can hear me shaking it and rolling it around, and I'm taking the lid off, and I'm going for it. All right. Now, I, yep, that is closed as well. This goes on the cap. I don't know if that does anything, but I don't. Oh, look at that. Mama Mia, Mama Mia. All right. I'm going to take off of there first because, you know, I am cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I'm going to move back one here. There we go. I'm cheap, I'm cheap, and I'm not ashamed. All right. So you can see right here, I'm going to take it off here, put some on there, and let's, uh, let's do this first. And I'm just going to go, and I'm lightly, look how I'm doing. I'm holding it back far, and I'm just letting it do its thing. Grab on. Oh, so exciting. And I'm going to turn it. I'm not going crazy. Now, look, there are a million different ways you can do this. There's also a million different colors. I might do some green on here, too. I don't know. But you see what I'm doing? I'm just running it down, grabbing those bumps, right? Oh, gosh. This, 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 this. That's all I'm going to say. And then you can go the other way. I think you grab more uh, texture going the other way, but... Uh, I like doing both ways because well, that's how I roll. Oh my gosh, look at it. I am going to pee my pants. No, no, don't pee your pants. Just paint. Just paint. All right. I'm getting some more. Let's work on this baby doll for a second just to see what we can get here. Get some of them off. Just very lightly. Oh yeah. And I'm just running it over, running it over, right? Let's do this. Oh. Run it the other way, grab up her nose. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, the excitement is just beyond. I, I can't even. I can't even. Look. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to do the back. I'm going to show you this. And I'm going to continue on and finish it. And then I will be back to show you what this looks like when it's done and what we're going to do next. Oh, so excited. Okay. So. As you can see, we have this on a leg. Doesn't look anything like it did before. And that red on it. Oh, I love it. I just, I just love it. I just love it. And then we have our baby doll. Look how cool. Look at that texture. Oh, so cool. Okay, so what I decided to do, because I just can never leave anything alone, I'm going to move back just for a second and I'm going to take either, I'm trying to decide either dark moss or light moss. And I think I might do both. Let me just try both. I'm going to shake this one up um, and just run a little bit over it and then a little light. Let's see what we get. Again, very well sealed. It'll only take me three hours to get into it. Who knew child proofing things would be such a, a struggle for me? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to pour just the littlest bit because I don't want to waste it. And I tell you, you get a lot in here for, um, you know, it being a bottle. So I'm glad with that because you really got, you know, you really get good uh, projects. Projects. All right, so a little more. I'm going to do the light green moss. Okay. 
Okay. And let's pour a little bit of that in. Ooh. That one's thick. Come on, bad boy. All right. All over my finger because <laughs> why not? Why not? Let me just rub. Uh, I probably don't recommend this, but I'm just, just going to rub it because I have it on my finger. I don't want to waste it. You know, I'm thrifty. I don't like wasting stuff. But I'm just kind of rubbing it on, you see, like, it's just going to give some other look to it. Like a little moss is growing on it. If you saw my roof, because we have a lot of trees, there's a lot of moss. And I'm just kind of rubbing it all around. Oh, I just, I, I love this. I can't even stand how much I love this. And there's no right or wrong. See, that's the great thing, because... It's whatever you want, right? Okay, let's get some of the darker green. I'm still using my finger. Probably shouldn't, even though it is, you know, it's not harmful. I just kind of want to rub it. I should use the brush because I know a lot of you will not like using your finger and um, I don't want you to think that you have to. Let me get my brush. I'm drying it. I don't want my brush wet. You know, I rinsed it off in the water, but I want it... And you see how well it comes out. I've been using the brush and it comes right off with water. So it's fantastic. So I'm going to go in and kind of, before I put any more in there, I'm just going to brush this and pull down any extra. Okay. I'm doing Hansel. That's all right. Cause we'll put some darker on there. So she's just going to look like a, uh, a little mossy, if you will. And just kind of hit everywhere because you can go back and add. I might go back and add a little more dark on it to flatten it out. Who knows? Who knows with me? But okay, I really like that. All right, so then let's take a little bit of this darker green here. On both ends. I'm just going to pat it off a little bit and then I'm just going to kind of make it look like there's a pattern here, right? Not really a pattern, but like moss has taken over. Look, the more grungy for me, you know, I'm a grungy, grungy girl. The stuff that I can do with this is, ugh. so make sure you keep an eye out for another, a quick video of how I'm, what, what else I'm going to do, because you know, I don't care what product it is. When I get a new product, I like to find every single possible way to use it in all of my art. I hate getting items that you can really only use in one way. Now, mind you, I know there are some out there that are like that, and that's okay, and I've bought a few, but I like to get bang for my buck. I like you guys to get bang for your buck. So, you know, here we got a thrift. You can get this at the dollar store. You know what I mean? You can get a Barbie at a dollar store and do this. And this is a piece of wood. Um, so, you know, this is very, very easy. But I'm also not going to leave my mixed media gals down either. Um, so, you know, make sure. Keep an eye out for a video from moi. All right, now I'm just kind of, it's more like where the sun's not going to hit, like while it's sitting, but I'm going to put this out in my front garden. So excited. And I'm just patting. Now, here's the thing. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm getting everywhere. Just patting. Look, patting, patting. It's all right, because I think, like I said, I'm going to go over it with a little dark just to, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's the fun of creating things is that you, first of all, you can do it whatever way you want. Ain't nobody going to tell you no different. And, um, there we go. And it's just to have fun. It's just to have fun. But remember, we're not going to forget this bad boy down here. Nobody's really going to see it, but we're up here. Okay. And if you sing like that when you do it, all the matter. All right, so now this is the lighter color of the moss, Avi, right? So I'm going to put some of that on there. 
turn my brush. I like to turn my brush, you know, both ways because, well, whatever. Okay. So, and now I'm just going to kind of like very lightly touch some of that, right? On the baby, on the doll. run it through. Oh, I love this chunkiness. I was going to give it a mohawk, but then I changed my mind. I thought, how much creepier could that be? All right. So I'm just kind of rubbing it very lightly. Oh gosh. the, the Oh, I just, I'm so happy. Okay. So I think you get my drift tail. All right. So I'm going to let that dry. No, you know what? I'm not going to let that dry. I'm going to clean my brush, put the lid because you know, we got to put the lid on everything. I always do, and I forgot on that one. But I'm going to take more of the dark rust. I'm going to shake it like this. I'm going to shake it like that. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay. Oh, the project's in my head. All right, I'm just going to pour a little bit. I don't want too much. And yes, I wipe this and I scrape it in because I don't like wasting. I know. it's. An awful disease I have. Okay, now I'm going to take my paintbrush again. You know what, what I'm going to try this time? I'm going to try my... Uh, this is One Stroke. These are from uh, Donna Dewberry. And it's a brush... Uh, is that what it's called? What is it? A scruffy brush. Because like this, you know what I'm talking about. Like a stencil brush almost. So I'm going to take some of this. Let me move over just a tad. All right, and I'm gonna gonna kind of go in, scoop up some of that deliciousness, pounce some of it off, and I'm just going in lightly because I just want it f like flecked. Does that make sense? Let me hold it. Maybe I could fleck in the air. <laughs> okay. Why I find myself so funny is beyond me, but I do. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm just kind of pouncing it a bit. I still want that green coming through, but I want it kind of pushed back. So think about it like when we're doing our uh, art journal pages or mixed media, we like, you know, you like all the nice colors, but when you put, you know, when you do this kind of thing in mixed media, it pounces it all back, right? So nothing's like sitting up at the front, if that makes sense. Your eye looks at it and everything, it's just so interesting and intricate. And all we're doing is making some of this go to the back. Go to the back of the class. There we go. Just so the green isn't as bright. Okay. I'm just pounding. Pouncing. Pounding, whatever word. I'm going to do a little bit more here because I want it to be rusty and gross and like look like it's peeling and what the heck does she have hanging out? You know, what does she have out there? Now, if you can see, I kind of, I'm going to kind of probably knock those back too. I put red in the eyes because, <coughs> you know, I'm creepy. I like creepy things. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I got a kick out of myself with the green eyes and then I choked, of course, trying to talk and laugh at the same time because I can't even walk down the steps without falling. Okay. We're choking for that matter. And you see how I'm doing it. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but see how that like pushed it back some and it just looks like something you would have found in a, like that was metal that you found in a uh, junkyard, right? And I'm just doing this up here. Now you want to add more red? Go ahead. It's I rhymed. I'm a rapper. Who knew it? And I'm just pounding it. I'm not not worrying too much. So look at it and turn it around and see. I think that is fantastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna let her dry. And let me get to this bad boy. I really am digging this the way it is. I don't necessarily want it too much darker, but I'm going to take what's rest left here and I'm just going in like that, just pushing some of it 
a little harder here because it's wood and it ain't hurting. Ain't nobody gonna hurt it. And nobody gonna hurt it. Just get it everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna let this dry. I'm very happy with these the way they are. And And you can remember once we like put everything together, you can definitely go back in and add more if you want. It doesn't have to be uh, patinaing and aging and rusting all at the same time. If this is a little brighter, but I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging on that. I know it's hard for you to see. I don't really need it, but I am. Look at that. I am digging on that. It just looks like it's a million different colors. I might want to do a little darker. Just, let me just do my brush in there. It might be better. Yeah. There we go. Just pushing it back some, a little more. So it's not so, uh, you look, you know, when you look at things differently, like I'm looking at it and I hold it up and I'm like, oh, okay. It might could you you know it could use maybe a little bit more not much you can brush it you don't have to i just don't want to brush it too much because i want that texture i want that texture all right i think i'm good with this though i love that red it just looks like it's been painted a million times okay i'm gonna put that in there i'm gonna let this dry and um when i come back we'll put it together and oh, i'm so excited okay i'll be back in a few Okay, guys, so let me tell you what I did. I'm going to show you my finished piece. La, 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 la. And it's going to stand on its stand. Look, let's see. Oh, I love how grungy and oh my goodness. Look, that's a plastic baby doll. <laughs> and then that's the wood. Oh my gosh. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. Now, what I did was, um, all I did was I took, well, I'm going to show you, some glossy Mod Podge. Woo, woo, woo. Got to put it on the thing, Cal. And I covered everything with it. I am so in love with this. I'm so in love with this. So, look, I used like three or four different colors. You don't have to. You can use two colors. They came. They come in pairs where light and dark. Um, as you see, like the moss, there's like a lighter color, green and a dark. And then there's rust, which is like a reddish and then a darker. And, um, and then I just threw some of the uh, folk art metallic gold paint on. And I love it. This was a plastic baby doll. Come on now. Now, all of you who have been uh, following me for a long time know that I love this. Now, my last thing I might do, I don't know, though. Um, I don't know. I might just put this out in my in my um, front yard because I just love it. I was thinking about taking nails and putting them in the head going across, like nail heads coming out and rusting those as well. If I do, I'll take a picture uh, and down the road and uh, show you what it looks like. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm thinking about it. But I just love this. Love it. And it was like two bucks to make with the, you know, as far as the wood and the, uh, a few bucks, you know, for the wood and the uh, plastic doll. And um, oh, I'm just so excited. So excited. So, and it's, you know, it's going to sit outside. Look at it. Look how cool. I have my, my, my yucky art shirt on because I've been, oh, I've just been having a blast with this stuff. Look at that. It just looks like it has been out. And once it goes out, you know, it, it might get a little more tarnished. So that is, uh, I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. Um, and I also did, which I'm going to put up a video, a sped through video, a speed through video, um, showing you how this stuff can work on cardboard. Look how cool. This is a piece of cardboard. Look at the texture. Look at the texture. Look at that. Look at that. How cool. And then wait till you see, because I did both sides. Look at this. Look at it. Look how cool. 
Oh my gosh, this stuff. So it works on cardboard as well. All you have to do is clear coat it with a uh, glossy uh, Mod Podge or you can use, I used the uh, Mod Podge, which you're going to see in the video, but I just want to talk about it real quick. The Mod Podge for paper. Um, I used that because it was cardboard um, and, and sealed it. It worked fantastic on this, uh, as well as, like I said, you can seal it with glossy, but look at that. Oh my gosh, I just love this. So I'm gonna put this out too. Um, I just gotta seal, finish sealing the edges. But this video I'm gonna put up um, just to, as a speed through because I think this is so cool and um, you don't have to do like altered art like I do uh, to use this stuff. Um, as I've told you guys a million times, uh, I don't like, when I get a product, I like to like push it and push it and push it until I can use it for everything that I use. So because I'm a mixed media artist, um, I'm on, you know, not only can this be used on non-pores, like wood or, um, you know, plastic. We can use it on cardboard too. And y'all know I love my cardboard. I love my cardboard. So it's just, I, I'm in love with this stuff. So I'm going to put down below plaids. Uh, it's what plaids. Oh, plaids are, I can't remember the name of it right now. I am so, cause I'm so excited about this. You know, my mind goes, I'm putting the link down below and um, go check them out. But you can also buy these at your AC Moore and Michaels and uh, use your coupons for them as well. Um, this is a must, uh, a must have. This is so much fun. Um, so you'll be seeing me use these again because I'm so excited. My head's going a mile a minute. Hence why I want to put nails in her head. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you love watching me uh, do all kinds of different projects on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. I just It just lets me know that you guys are watching and that you like it and that makes me happy. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys rock. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.